All right, there we are, back. And... Oh. What's this? Somehow I doubt they're gonna lure in the jaded thugs of today with laser light shows. Not enough despinings to hold a young person's attention. What is this laser show? Actually, I kind of forget, but I'm pretty sure it's bitchin'. Fascinating. Oh. That's interesting. Holy Oak, Massachusetts. If I remember my field guide for otherworldly incursions correctly, that tentacle's a flagellum from the Dark Dimension. Huh, okay. That's cool. So that's the office we telephoned into. I didn't see that that was down there. Coming soon, a brief history of bad ideas in transportation. I hope Max's brain and body are reunited by the time this exhibit opens. He loves tooling around in comically unviable vehicles. How is it your people make such superb handguns, yet you believe such nonsense? History is extremely awesome. Hey, young under adults, 10,000 BC, cretinous period. <laughs> Origin of soup, aimless period. Faraday invents Chinese food. Columbus discovers moral philosophy. Discovery of drag racing, first fake moon landing, robots take control, 2100 AD. Can you memorize them all? Names, places, dates. Pluto, real planet or big fat faker? Has it been so long that Pluto has been declared not a planet? No, I think this was probably before Pluto was declared not a planet, or declared a dwarf planet. Too bad these things don't get outside lines. I could really go for some all-night alugabi right now. Ah, we can go to Max. Is that an espresso machine? Because I've always wanted to pour caffeine directly into my brain. This device is used to maintain the complex matrix of energies between the devil's toy box, your magnificent brain, and paperweight's chaos magic, and funnel them into the planetarium's crude projector. Fascinating. Now tell me more about my magnificent brain. Okay. Anything else? Return to Sam. Show him a sniveling irritant. I don't like that this has reversed controls. I think we don't actually see the brain. Oh. Yog Sagoth, Yog Sagoth, bloody bloody blah. Hey minions. Yes. Don't talk to the squishy one, me Tiho. Hmm. Looks like Max is stoking the fires of Discord. I'll see if I can add some fuel from out here. Hmm, so we have to find some way to get the tapestry damaged. It's still got that old brain smell. Please don't touch, play on or around the Pharaoh's brain. When we ruled, anyone caught touching the Pharaoh's brain was sealed in a vat of scorpions.
If you're going to putrefy and decompose, you might as well do it in style. You're telling me! That's the Buckingham Imperial model with the optional scorpion proofing. Buckingham? Imperial? That's slightly anachronistic. Ooh, pointy and dangerous. Two of my favorite things. Why does this simple device fill me with such a feeling of unspeakable dread? I think that's just Max's body having a tingle of anticipation. It does that when it sees exotic weaponry. Ah. Ancient Egyptian brain screw. In my day, we called it the Divine Brain Swirly. Okay. Hey, it's me. Give or take 4,000 years and a decent tailor. More like 4,000 sit-ups. <laughs> ah, the Sphinx. Have you heard its famous riddle? It'll knock your sandals off. It's all about, well, there's a cucumber, and then... Uh, uh, no, wait. Let me start over. Don't bother, Your Highness. Really. He cuts the cucumber lengthwise. <laughs> Sphunks. Don't bother. Okay, that's the same. The seven-sided pyramid of Hikaba was the crowning glory of Kestimpum the Tiny until it collapsed under its staggering weight and unorthodox design. Seven-sided pyramids? Bleh. My pyramids had so many sides, they were practically cones! I don't really see anything over there. How's it going? Hi, Tony. Um, yeah, uh, it's going okay. I'm slightly stuck now. But apart from that, it's not going badly. Can we do anything with this guy? Probably not. I not get too close to that thing. I could end up in some other dimension where the laws of physics are inside out, or radio stations are dominated by folk music, or some other nightmarish claw-your-eyes-out scenario. Did you see that when it did the close-up? You could see that the number pad, it says Bosco Tech on the bottom, and also the keys are hieroglyphs. We just got home, so catching up on Twitch. Okay, yeah, that sounds fun. All right, let's see, what can we do? Well, we haven't really... Let's see if there's anything that we can see here. Oh, there's subhumanity. Seems like is that supposed to be fire? Oh, there's subhumanity. It's a window and fire. Oh, there's subhumanity. A curtain over a window. Oh, there's subhumanity. Oh, so that's Um, I think that was just like what's behind? These controls are slightly annoying. Hmm. So what can we do with this? Tapestry of Yog Sagoth, overfiend of the dank dimensions, on loan from the East Village chapter of the Knights of Yog Sagoth. He doesn't look so tough. Do we have anything? This little device is you, of course. Yeah, we already did that. We don't really have anything else here, do we? It says it's an information desk, but I feel dumber just looking at it. Too bad these things don't get outside lines. I could really go for some all-night alugabi right now. Hey, guard guy. Don't bother me, Tyrone. I've got to keep a lookout for Sam. 
Right. I'll just let you get back to that. So, I hope you had a good afternoon, Tony, and, uh, stuff. Oh, brain juice. It's a telltale trail of Grandpa Stinky's brain-preserving demon broth. Ooh, what a delightful aroma. This Grandpa Stinky must be a skilled sorcier. Hmm. Okay, so that stain... I guess that was supposed to be a hint that we're supposed to go up there. Hmm. Senseless vandalism has its place, but this isn't it. Oh. Canis erectus. This freakish too. Anubis will not be happy with this insult to his girth. Wait, what was that? Erectus. This freakish tooth, dating from the late Fumerian era, is thought to represent an evolutionary dead end of heavyset man dog hybrids. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Because Anubis was very fit, as we saw upstairs. Hmm. Weird. Am I missing something? What's with all the apes running around? I don't know and I don't want to know. I'm not getting anywhere near those animals. See ya, Sal. Careful out there, Sam. This place is cooker tonight. Can we use it with? Picture of skull? It's another one. Oh. What's this? Hindenburg picture? The Hindenburg crashes and catches fire. Whee! Be careful, your highness. You're full of hydrogen and dangerously unstable. Oh, lighten up. I have. Whee! <laughs> okay. And now let's go over here and see if we can uh, shoot him down, maybe? Could you move just a little bit to the left, Your Majesty? Why? No reason. Whee! Oh, the subhumanity. really quite exhilarating you're welcome now never do it again no problem whoops let go of me commoner Shh. who is making all that inferno racket yaksago no <laughs> yes your hands on our divine personage lighten up your majesty I think we're about to see some fireworks. Skunkape! What? One of your ignorant minions has destroyed the museum's priceless Yogg-Sagoth tapestry! Oh, really? Mahila! Yes, sir! Did any of you destroy Mr. Paperweight's precious tapestry? No, sir! I believe you owe me an apology, partner. You're right. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Sorry, your minions are trigger happy Neanderthals. That's it. I've had it up to here with your incessant 
petulant whining! Petulant? Well, I've had it up to here with your imperious attitude and your odiferous banana breath. Banana breath? Banana breath? This alliance is over! So be it! It warms my heart to see these two fighting again. At least I think it does. Sam better come get me before these two losers knock over my jar, or worse, kiss and make up! We hear your majesty. This move's gonna require some sneakiness, and that body you're wearing isn't really known for its stealth. Very well. Resistance is pointless, Terran flea! Eat my primordial wrath, monkey boy! It's about time. I would have been here two or three explosions ago if someone I know had the slightest bit of impulse control. Hey, my body's walking around without my brain. How'd you work that out? I found a loner in the creepy Egyptian exhibit. Nice kid, but a little bit of an attitude. Now let's get out of here before Goofus and Gallant figure out that we've played them for chumps. Come on, Your Highness. Your Majesty? The toy box! It's mine again! Box. Sam, you didn't stick the brain of a psychically gifted, unstable adolescent pharaoh in my cute little body, did you? Uh, maybe. It is so cool! <laughs> Must resist. Norrington, help me! I hammer a patal, the hairballs of Bastet, and the hangnails of Anubis. Reality itself will kneel before Salmon Mac. Maybe we should be leaving. You think? Oops, bad ending. <laughs> but I thought I did all decisions right. It's another mind-boggling mystery solved by the loping wits and the capriciously applied violence of the freelance police. Who's up for a sugar grenade? What the hell are you talking about, Sam? I'm still a brain in a jar! Don't be silly, Max. You've always been a brain in a jar. No, I haven't. I'm a short, sexy lagomorph with an enormous mouth and dead, shark-like eyes. Hold that thought, little buddy. We've got some idolizing to do. Say what? Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When, when we, we think, think of Salmon Mac, we, we give a big salute. salute. Oh, you have got to be kidding. Attention, everyone. From this point forward, those little things at the ends of your shoelaces. Aglets? Yes! Aglets are hereby decreed to be the most horrible things in all the world. It's a good thing I don't wear shoes. Sam, snap out of it! Snap out of what? Ah! Just get me out of here! I gotta find my body! <laughs> We're in an alternate reality. Cool. I had completely forgotten everything that goes on in this episode. Oppressively grandiose monument to Sam and Mac the Great, erected by his gratefully besotted subjects, October 10th, 1791. Oh, now I know that's wrong, Sam. Bosco's was standing here right up until this morning. Bosco never existed, little buddy. And neither did Mama Bosco. Hmm. What's that? Wow, that last case must have pranged your frontal cortex more than usual, Max. That's one of Sam and Max's fabulous animatronic auto idols. The Boy King uses them to receive praise, address the masses, and keep an eye out for nasty heretics. Why does it look like me? Don't be blasphemous, little pal. It looks like Sam and Mac. Ooh, we're about to be addressed. Sam and Mac is mighty. Sam and Mac is grand. The brilliance the of brilliance Lord Sam and Mac, 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 Mac is more than we can stand. We can stand. Hello, everyone. It's me, Salmon Mac, Pharaoh of Pharaohs, ruler of reality here. I just wanted to say that I hereby decree that aglets are now the most wonderful thing in the whole world. Carry on. Darn, no aglets. If I had some, I would have given them to him. <laughs> Something, one, four, three... Simon Mc. Oh, 
Oh god. Um Those are Sam leg uh, Max legs. Hey Sam, from this angle you can see my great big honking zip it little buddy. <laughs> Aw. What the heck is going on with our office? Oh, we got kicked out of it last week when Sam and Mac requisitioned it to make way for a new statue commemorating his new high score on Mimesweeper. Where do we work now? Mostly out of the DeSoto. You know, I hadn't really thought about it until we were kicked out, but we haven't really used our office in months. Smack Backs Yak Slacks. It's a story about how Sam and Mac briefly declared Andy and Weave Pants to be his most favored thing in the whole wide world for a few hours last Thursday, before he discovered how itchy they were and had them all destroyed in a massive bonfire. Pickle little tyrant, ain't he? Smack Backs Yak Slacks. It's a story okay, about... Okay, it's both the same. Oh, I suppose in Salmon Mac world, the fire hydrants flow with fizzy grape soda. Don't be silly, old chum. They flow with plain old ambrosia, same as the faucets. Max, beware. Who said that? Who said what? Hold on, Sam. I think I'm getting a call from a new psychic friend. Well played, Max. Sam must suspect nothing. Only you can untangle the twisted reality woven by Samun Mark. Me? Oh, there's a great plan. What am I gonna do? Leak all over him? Make contact with the rebels. They will give you the tools you need. Um, I don't see any rebels. You will know them by their backhanded salute. Now, I must leave before I am discovered. Good luck, Max. We're all counting on you. Who are you, anyway? You may call me Dr. Norrington. <gasps> what now, little buddy? What about, oh, I don't know, getting my body back? I keep telling you, Max, you've never had a body. All right, fine. Let's go find someone with a backhanded salute. What for? For the thrill of it. I like this variation on on the street we know. It's a cool idea. Corn dogs. Our Lord Salmon Max sure loves his corn dogs. Catering to Lord Salmon Max. Stinkies. Catering to Lord Salmon Max since 1923. Since when does Stinkies cater? It's right there on the truck, Max. Well, that was an interesting shortcut. Oh, okay. Look, these grotty little mole people have made a primitive mosaic of Lord Salmon Mac. That's me, Sam! I think it's cute that you maintain such a positive self-image, Max. <laughs> it's nice that they changed the dialogue and didn't just keep it from the previous game. Hey, mole cultists. How's it going? Uh, okay. Please don't snarl at us again. Why would I do that? I've got Max's brain back, and everything's right with the world. Right. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When, when we, we think, think of Salmon, Salmon Mac, we, we give, give a, a big, big salute. salute. Hey, you gave a backhanded salute. Are you a rebel? Rebels? Where? Salmon Mac is mighty! Salmon Mac is grand! The brilliance of Lord Salmon Mac is more than we can stand! That should keep him busy for the next few hours. So are you a rebel or not? We're much more than mere rebels. Hey, aren't you- To defeat Salmon Mac, you will need a weapon that our rebel forefathers originally used to separate his tyrannical brain from his spoiled body back in ancient Egypt. Cable television? No, we speak of the brain screw. Ooh, pointy and dangerous, two of my favorite things. Bring the sacred weapon close to Salmon Mac, and we'll take care of the rest. Bring the brain screw to Salmon Mac, easy peasy. 
I fear it will be neither easy nor peasy. But fear not. I wasn't. We have obtained several tools to help you in your quest. My psychic toys! I've missed you, boys. Many more people sacrifice your dignity and 401ks to steal these infernal amusements out from under Sam and Max's all-seeing games. Use them wisely. Wisely. That's adorable. <laughs> hey, Sam! Giddy up! Reverend Submission is tough on the knees. That's nice. Hey, I got us a case! Really? Yeah! The case of Sam and Max missing brain screw! Ooh, sounds pointy and dangerous. It better be, or you better get used to carrying me around. Uh, I've been carrying you for years. Well, if Sam and Max missing his brain screw, we'd better bring it back to him. He's probably in the throne room at the museum. Cool. <laughs> Why is this one unconscious? How long is he going to be out like that? We'll keep him under until reality reasserts itself. I wish I had hands so I could draw a monocle on his face. Hey, my brain water's pretty warm, Sam. Try sticking his hand in my jar. <laughs> Someday we should get around to properly burying Samoth and Maximus. Oh, we'll take care of that. It's the least we can do for the ancestors of our future saviors. You have any idea what they're talking about? Only marginally. So she looks like the little daughter that we ruined on the train. And I guess she's now the elder. Hey, Sam! What is it, Max? I'm a little fuzzy about how our last case wrapped up. Well, after Skunk Ape kidnapped you, I went on an embarrassing noirish rampage through the streets, eventually tracking you down to the museum, where I, uh, uh, hail Salmon Mac! Ouch! Looks like Salmon Mac's rewrite of history has more gaps than a British subway system. Any luck getting me a body? Why do you want a body anyway? You've never wanted one before. Forget it! How long has Salmon Mac been in charge of everything? Oh, Salmon Mac's always been in charge. Ever since he emerged from the newly created sun, resplendent in his billowing robe of glorious wonderment, and banished the evil cat demons to the underworld. Cat demons? Yes. They ruled the earth in the before time. <laughs> if Sam and Mac's so great, why is the city still such a mess? Well, Sam and Mac doesn't stress cleanliness. He's more of a tithing and sacrifice kind of deity. So as far as you know, I've been a disembodied brain during the entire time you've known me, right? Um, yeah. How could I possibly be an effective force for violently ironic justice without fists, teeth, or a gun? Don't sell yourself short, Max. Your poisonous personality and sharp-edged container has gotten us out of more jams than I care to remember. Like? Well, there's... Hail Salmon Mac! Yeesh! If Salmon Mac's in charge of everything, who's President of the United States? Don't be ridiculous, Max. You are. Phew! Of course, it's largely a ceremonial position. All you really do is go to a lot of mall openings. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we'll do. All right. Is there anything we can do down here? Well, we found the rebels, I guess, and we've got the screw that we could never take. What's this? Mista card, the last more or less honest credit card. Normally I'd be leery of a pizza franchise expanding into the credit market, but if their loan rates are as stingy as their toppings, then sign me up. Ah, oh, that's Mista Pizza that we've had before, okay. Can we go in there? Stinkies is packed with crates of corn dogs for Sam and Max's endless feast. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised. I thought we could pick that up or something. Let's talk to these people. Yes, I know that the sign is flashing. Oh joy, it's Chico and the man. Can we just cut to the chase? I've got important Sam and Max business to attend to. 
What are you doing out here? What does it look like? I'm helping Grandpa Stinky load another metric barge load of corn dogs to Lord Salmon Max, never ending buffet table over at the planetarium. That's funny. It looks like you're texting your boyfriend. Boyfriend? Who said I had a boyfriend? I'm saving myself for Lord Salmon Mac. Isn't he like, uh, 10? Now, but in a few years. Okay. <laughs> So, who are you texting? I'm, uh, handling all the logistics of the buffet. Seems kind of cruel to let your grandpa do all the heavy lifting. Oh, uh, he insisted. No, I didn't! <laughs> grandpa Stinky's looking relatively upbeat today. Insufferable, isn't it? Ever since he got that medallion of tithing, he's been running around like his broccoli doesn't smell. Okay, he got a medallion, apparently. Lord Salmon Max sure is swell, isn't he? Oh, I know, and so powerful. Oh, and wealthy, and powerful. You said powerful twice. What can I say? I like power. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big salute. Okay, I guess they intended us originally to try to greet people here. Uh, but we happened to run into the the mole men first. Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. The brilliance of Lord Salmon Mac is more than we can stand. Oh, come on, guys. Grow some basal ganglia. You look, uh, busy, so we'll let you get back to your, uh, work. It's been great, guys. Let's do this again real soon. Oh, that body-snatching pharaoh even bamboozled the stinkies? What good is bitter narcissism if it can't protect you from mind control? Stinky! What do you want, you shiftless tab-running losers? Can't you see I'm doing the Lord's work here? This will only take a minute. That's what you always say before you drag me into your little schemes. Ah, he has that. You look different today, Stinky. Do you think? It's the glazed over mask of idolatry, Sam. No, no, it's that. Ooh, snazzy. Did you get that at the Ren Fair? Ren Fair? This is the medallion of tithing given to me by Lord Salmon Mac for offering him a one-of-a-kind gift that was most pleasing to his omniscient eye. What'd you give him? Some yak hair pants. They were the only ones in the world. I'm jealous. You should be. If I can scrape up a couple more of these accessories of privilege, I'll be sitting at the right hand of Lord Salmon Mac himself. Hmm... All you had to do to get that accessory of privilege was give Lord Salmon Mac a present? Aye, but only a one-of-a-kind gift. That's his most precious thing in the whole wide world. Well, that's tricky. The Pharaoh's a bit, uh, whimsical. Tell me about it. I never can tell what sort of exotic toppings he's gonna want on these infernal corn dogs. Okay, so I guess we might need to acquire something to be let in I see you brought out your catering truck for another delivery to our magnificent potentate I Lord Salmon Mac can't get enough of my special corn dogs with their secret blend of herbs spices and insect viscera I want one now gimme 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 down you these corn dogs are going straight to the old king's never-ending buffet table at the planetarium. Besides, Max, you don't even have a mouth or a digestive system. What would you want with a corn dog? So, you'll be heading off to the planetarium soon to bathe in the glow of Sam and Max praise? Aye, if I can ever get my lazy, good-for-nothing granddaughter to quit messing with her cell phone! Oh, I'm just, um, clearing up a few details with Salmon Max High Vizier, Grandpa. Sure you are. You see what I have to put up with. That's why we never work with family members. Especially after that time with Cousin Lucretia. Ugh. How are you and Girl Stinky getting along? I 
don't you go ask her yourself? It's not as though she's doing anything else right now. She just spends all her time texting people, never lifting a finger to help her poor old grandpa. It's nice to see your familial bonds are as strong as ever in this cruddy new world. What in the name of Sobek Scrotum is he on about? Beats me. I think he's just having one of his episodes. Who's girl stinky texting anyway? She says she's organizing the buffet over at the planetarium. But I think she's just chatting up her new boyfriend. A boyfriend? Stinky? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I needed that. Oh, if I had a nose, I would have horked milk out of it. <laughs> but seriously, Grandpa. Hey, you've got an unholy knack with meats and organs. Any chance you can whip up a body for Max? Well, I have been noodling with a recipe for a golem made of hummus. Ugh, no! Never mind. Suit yourself. <laughs> He's picky. Salmon Max sure is swell, isn't he? Oh, that he is, lad. Why, just last night, there was this tremendous storm over the city, causing my knees to seize up something fierce. Uh, I used to have an elbow like that. Back when I had elbows. Shush you. So I brought a gift to the local Salmon Mac offering depository, dropped it off with a little prayer, and hoot, the skies cleared up the next morning, and my knees are fine. Praise Salmon Mac. Oh, yeah, because storms never end on their own. It must have been Salmon Mac that did it. Max, are you blaspheming the name of Salmon Mac, you squashy little nobody? No way, Grandpa Stinky. Max is cool, aren't you? Hail Salmon Mac. That's bitter. I like how uh, expressive they made this brain. It's like, hey, little salmon mac. Like, just that shape he took on. I don't know if it's if there's a different shape for when he speaks or something or not. Um, but it worked in that situation. <laughs> salmon mac is mighty. Salmon mac is grand. The, the brilliance, brilliance of Lord, Lord Salmon, salmon mac, mac is more than, than we can, can stand. stand. Oh, brother. So Salmon Mac really changed the weather for you? That's incredible. Some might say unbelievable. Aye, and it's a good thing, too. When those low-pressure systems roll in, my knees seize up like burnt tapioca. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When, when we, we think, think of, of Salmon, salmon Mac, Mac, we, we give, give a big a salute. Big salute. Well, you look busy. Noticed that, did you? So we'll be on our way. What? No riddles? No discursive queries into the secret ingredients of my mysterious menu items? We're between cases. All right. So let's do what the game is telling us and try out we can see anything with our future vision. I hope girl Stinky's got an unlimited texting plan. <laughs> texting so 2009. All the cool kids are blimp dingling these days. You're cute when you make up tech fads, Max. No! I love Lord Salmon Mac. It looks like Grandpa Stinky's got a date with Lord Salmon Mac's heretic police in the near future. It's always the guy you most suspect, isn't it? Okay, so I guess we have to get him branded as a heretic somehow. I guess maybe
Well, let me help you out with that a little, buddy. Don't mind if you do. Oh, now we have a Mista card. Okay. Is there anything else we can... No, there isn't. I guess we'll go to the car like we had originally planned before a cutscene started. Hail Sam and Mac! Where would you like to go today, Sam? Perhaps you'd like to give a gift to Lord Sam and Mac. Or maybe make a visit to Sam and Mac's planetarium throne room to bask in his glory. Or maybe you'd just like to cruise around the city taking in the wonders that Lord Sam and Mac has bestowed on us. Those all sound swell, guys, but I think I'll let Max pick the destination today. He's in a bit of a funk. You know who could fix that? Sam and Mac. Okay. Museum, Frankie, or the gift vault. I think we'll just go directly to the museum for now and see what he does, and then we can do the other locations, okay, I guess. Let's have a nice, firm chat with this body-stealing croc muncher. That's no way to talk about our divine leader, Max. Oh, good grief. Kick him in the scarabs! Do it! Do it! Hmm. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> well played, General Skunkape. You are truly our fiercest and smelliest warrior. I live for your praise, my liege. You know, I enjoy a good pummeling as much as the next brain in a jar, but that seemed really unfair. It may seem unfair, little buddy, but it's the only way those stinking rebels will learn to accept Sam and Mac's righteous rule. You're creepy when you're sycophantic, Sam. <laughs> Just kicks him around like a baseball. I almost feel sorry for the little dude. Oh well, Sam and Mac knows best. It's Lord Sam and Mac's astral projector. I think it keeps the sky from falling. Something bloody lying. Hmm. Pramiopeia? Pram-eopeia, so like Cassiopeia, but with a pram, I guess. Big fan, toaster, fudgy stick. <laughs> the constellation known as the Great Fudgy Stick was previously Eroticus the Joybringer until a Texas school board ruling in 2003. Whoa! What is that? It's a fudgy stick, sir. They're a big hit with the kids. Fudgy sticks? Hey ho, everyone! Sam and Mac here again! We'd like everyone to know that fudgy sticks are officially our favorite things in the world! We think they're tops! Well, that's it! Goodbye! Hmm, if I had one of those, I could give it to Sam and Mac. Okay, a fan, a toaster... What's Pramopeia? Oh, it's an actual pram. Okay, yeah. In days of yore, British sailors would often follow Pramiopeia, the baby buggy, to guide their vessels home. Ooh! Vizier, what is that magnificent contraption? It's a pram, my liege. A pram, eh? Attention, everyone! This is Salmon Mac. Holy of Holies here! From now on, crams are hereby decreed to be the ginchiest things in all creation! We love them, and you should too! That is all. Okay, so fudgy stick, toaster, fan... ...or a pram. 
Inner Circle members only. I don't think we're supposed to go in there. That doesn't apply to us. We're the freelance police. Stop! Only members of Lord Samon Mak's inner circle are allowed within ten cubits of the boy king. Aww. And how does sniveling jerk like you get to be in the inner circle? The same way as everyone else, by earning accessories of privilege. I like the face. How can I get these accessories? Just do exceptionally good deeds on Samon Mak's behalf, like I did. Now scat. Well, that wasn't very nice. But it won't stop me from returning Lord Sam and Max brain screw. I just need to rustle up some accessory thingies. Okay, I guess that's the objective now. This seems a lot of game. Ah, uh, here are more corn dogs. What's that? That is Lord Samonek's magnificent pyramid of corn dogs, a meticulously balanced marble of nearly 340 stinky brand corn dogs. Don't you natives know anything about your own country? Euro snap. Corn dogs! <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme! Whoops! No! <gasps> what? <gasps> what is that? That thing that has defiled our pyramid of corn dogs? It's, um, my Eurosnap 3000 SRX camera, my lord. A camera, eh? Listen up, everybody. We hereby decree that cameras are the most despicable things in the world. If you see a camera, smash it into teeny tiny bits for your lord and master. That is all. Oh, blogger schnoops. And as for you, into the pit of contrition with you. Ha 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 ha! Yo. Oh, my cranklies! Vizier, more corn dogs. Right away, your wonderfulness. That was quick. Confidentially, this happens a lot, so we always have a spare. Okay, so I guess we want to destroy something. What a spread! Let's see. We've got Boar Oliveira, Ram's Blood Jigglers, Scarab Crunch, and ooh, is that Scorpion Noodle Bake? Okay, so it seems like this is how we make something uh, the worst thing, which is probably one achievement we need to make. And another is, and, and the projector is how we make something that is his favorite thing. What? <laughs> if I'm going to be franchised out, I should at least be collecting licensing fees. It costs four lots of grain to use this payphone. I remember when it was just a half bladder of lamp oil. Oh, toaster is repaired here. Toaster's gone kapert. Bring it down to Radio Yurt. Nicky may charge an arm and a leg, but at least his poetry sucks. Okay, so we can actually make a toaster. Oh, and there's one of the badges. So let's see if we can uh, get an imprint of the toaster. Okay. Uh, and I guess let's talk to you people. Frankie. Ah, jeez, as if I don't have enough trouble today. Now I gotta deal with the freaking freelance police. Beat it, coppers. Yeah, let us fleece our cousin in peace. 
Do my not ears deceive me, or are those rats mouthing off to us? I believe they are, Max. Shall we make a lesson of them? I believe we shall. Now be nice while we talk to your cousin. What sort of low-rent criminal shenanigans are you and your Ken perpetrating out here? And please keep in mind that I can see the future, so I'll know if we'll be slapping you around for lying to us later on. Hey, there's nothing illegal going on here, honest. Me and my cousins were just engaging in a little friendly wagering over Samu Max, uh, what you call it, gladiatorial bouts. Really? Yeah. Uh, of course we don't actually bet on who wins or loses. That Skunkape gorilla's impossible to beat. Uh, so we bet on what the general's finishing move's gonna be. Finishing move? <laughs> How 90s? When General Skunkape finishes off an opponent, he'll use one of his six signature moves to do the deed. Before each fight, we make bets on which one it's gonna be. Fascinating. No, it's not. Humor the little rat guy, Max. Okay, so I guess we have to jigger that somehow if manipulated. Makes sense. Could you run through this whole gladiatorial gambling thing again? You probably couldn't tell, but I was asleep the last time. Sure, sure, no problemo. Like I said, me and the boys like to bet on... Okay. That's some sweet Sam and Mac themed bling you got there. Bling? <laughs> Do people still say that? And not just any bling. This here's a genuine pendant of Inquisition, given to me by Lord Samu Mac after I personally checked the 160,000 orifices of 20,000 guests at the security checkpoint of His Majesty's Summer Soiree. Classy. Tell me we're not going to do that. <laughs> Can I uh, borrow your thingy of Inquisition? No! How about throwing it in the pot to spice things up a little? Nah, uh, I'll stick with cash. Okay, so I guess we have to make him lose money. So he'll place a bet with that. Hey, you're a rat who knows how to get things. Plague, diphtheria, scabies. Do you have a line on any empty body so that we could drop Max's brain into? I'm getting a little existential in here. I'd like to help, guys, but uh, that's a little out of my pay grade. I can fix you up with a nice cost stereo, though. Thanks, we'll pass. Let's not be too hasty, Sam. The powers of my psychic brain melded to a kicking sound system could be a formidable force for justice. That Salmon Max sure is the bee's knees, isn't he? You know it, pal. Take a look at this cool bit of bling. If I get a couple more of these accessories of privilege, I'll be hobnobbing with the big ass himself. Mind if I lay down a bed? You, a freelance cop, gambling on the street like a common rat? Hey, guys, wake up! What? What? The high and mighty freelance policeman wants to make a bet on the next fight. Bring him on! More money for us! So, which move do you think Skunkape will use next? Simeon Scissor Kick, Space Ape Kidney Punch, Gorilla Thigh Squeeze, Simeon Sucker Punch, Great Ape Leg Sweep, Gorilla Girly Slap. Only some more ends on the Gorilla Girly Slap. Sam, since when do you have any cash? And, uh, <clears throat> where are you carrying it? A, since Sam and Mac kicked us out of our office, we've been saving a bundle by living out of the DeSoto, and B, none of your damn business. Touche. <laughs> All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? I'll take the Space Ape Kidney Punch. I'll put down 20 on the Great Ape Leg Sweep. And I'll pick the, uh, Gorilla Thigh Squeeze. But first, I better go get some cash. What's that all about? Frankie doesn't trust us, so he never carries any cash when he's around us. Subsequently, he always has to run off to the ATM machine every time he makes a bet. Hey, Paulie, you just called it an ATM machine. So what? So that's redundant, that's what. I'm back! Ah, oh, it's a good thing, too. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern here were starting to put me into a coma. Shh, the fight's about to start. 
Looks like another blasphemous mole man has entered the ring to face off against Salmon Max undefeated champion Skunkape. Let's see how he does. Skunkape circles the ring. The challenger runs for his life. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it, oh my yes, it's the great eight leg sweep. And the crowd goes wild. No thigh squeeze? Aww. Oh, come on, Skunkape. Use your stinking hands. More money for my Manny Petty. Right in La Bonza. Oh. So, if we switch out his, okay, I guess that's something we'll do later. We'll hey. switch out. Hail Salmon Mac! Bleep, bleep, bleep. Anyway, if we switch out anything, um... Uh, we, we can switch out his credit card, I guess, and then the card won't work. And then he has to bet the little pendant. Alright, uh, but first we want to make the toaster, and so that means we gotta get back to the museum. And switch the projector... What is this? Is that anything we can manipulate? No. Toaster. It's a flying toaster in space. Wichco Electric Company paid $15 million to purchase the naming rights of this constellation, now forever known as the Wichco Flying Toaster. Ooh. What is that? It's a wedge co toaster, your omnipotence. A toaster? Greetings, everyone! This is Salmon Mac the Divine speaking. From this day forward, toasters are the most exalted things in all the universe, ranking just below yours truly on the awesome meter. Just thought you should know. Just thought you should know. I like his accent. Okay, now go to the gift vault and hopefully get something from there. Oh, Sal is here and the sign spinner. Salmon Mac shatters storm. Citizens rejoiced as Lord Salmon Mac used his mighty powers to disperse a thunderstorm in advance to his annual visit to our fair city. And look, there's a picture. Hey, Sam! Oops. What is it, Max? Nope. Let's get a move on. Will do. Oh, look, Sam, a door! Let's kick it in and blast the hell out of the poor slobs on the other side! Come on, Sam, what do you say? Huh? Ah, I hate the new reality! Hey, Sal! Sam! I just love your Sam and Mac accessory. Pretty sweet, huh? That's my ornament of fealty. Lord Sam and Mac gave it to me for exposing an evil heretic. A heretic? What, did he deny the quadrine nature of the esoteric illuminations? Worse. He didn't salute fast enough. That is bad. Oh, so he says his joints... Uh, Stinky said his joints seize up when there's a storm. So if we can somehow cause a storm... We can say kneel, and then he can't kneel. So, to get my own ornament of fealty, I need to expose a heretic? Heretics aren't so easy to find these days. Everyone knows you gotta bow down to Salmon Mac if you want to stay out of the pit of contrition. I see you got a new job. 
Grand Vizier Paperweight was so impressed with my work as a museum security guard that he promoted me to the chief offering collector here at the regional offering vault 714. It's true, you cockroaches really are survivors. Yep, and now I don't even have to patrol. All I gotta do is guard this door and take gifts into this impenetrable offering vault. It's a little slice of heaven. How go the offerings today? Ah, you know how it is. In a tough economy, charitable contributions go right down the toilet. Even gifts to Lord Salmon Mac? I know. The guy creates the sky and the stars and the creatures of the field, and people let a little thing like a double-dip recession stop them from paying their respects. It's a sick, sad world, Sal. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. Oh, yeah? I can't accept just any old thing, you know. The omnipotent one is kind of picky. What you got? Uh, wait. Uh, on second. I hear you. Okay. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Okay. Let's make ourselves a toaster. Sam, get a lot of me. I'm... For the love of Salmon Mac, don't say it. Toasty. Oh, and now he's no longer back in there. Okay. Hey, Sal! Sam! Hey, Sal, does his absolute perfectionist have any empty bodies in there? My buddy's in the market for one. I'm sure he wouldn't miss it. First of all, the answer is no. Lord Salmon Mac doesn't have any empty bodies in there. Rats. Second of all, you really shouldn't kid around about stealing from the big guy. That kind of talk could get the Grand Vizier and his goons all over your keisters. If I had a butt, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big salute. Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. The brilliance of Lord Salmon Mac is more than we can stand. Uh, get a room, will ya? I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. We'll see about that. What you got? A toaster. How about a toaster? Ooh, nice. You think Salmon Mac will like it? Didn't you hear? Those wedge coat toasters are like his favorite thing in the whole wide world. Great. Yeah, people have been giving him toasters all day. Oh, the vault's jammed full of them. The last thing he needs is another dang toaster. Darn! Okay, that didn't go as expected. How about an authentic Egyptian brain screw? Ooh, that's a really bad idea, Sam. Why? Didn't you hear? Salmon Mac hates those things. I should destroy it right now. We'd better hold on to it just in case Lord Salmon Mac changes his mind. Yeah, okay. He is a whimsical overlord. How about a handsome but seldom useful firearm? Lord Salmon Mac doesn't need guns. He could drop an army by wrinkling his cute little nose. I didn't know my cute little nose could wrinkle. Um. How about a toaster? Ooh, nice. You think Sam and Mac will like it? Didn't you hear? Those Great. Yeah, people have been giving him toaster. Ah, oh, the vault's jammed. Darn. Okay, I have a small problem, which is that the back button doesn't exist anymore. Uh, nothing. Second thought, I don't think I have anything worthy of his plenipotency at the moment. I hear ya. I got worthiness issues myself. Okay. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Nothing says beloved ruler like a ubiquitous surveillance network. Hmm. So how do we...
how do we get th hey. stop bothering me I finally found my place in Sam and Max's blessed world and I don't need my bubble rub by no freelance police It's about time they built an official Sam and Mac offering vault out here in the borough. Offering vault? You mean there's nothing in there but stuff that people have given to Sam and Mac? Yep. No more schlepping over to Newark for this Sam and Mac tithing doggy. Let's see if we can somehow ruin Stinky, I guess. Oh, right. No, let's do the... Oh, I didn't do... didn't do the psychic thing over there which I probably should have so let's go over and then back to the gift vault check that out and then see if we can ruin Frankie the Rat. Salmon Mac's gonna love this. Hmm, looks like someone's about to give Lord Salmon Mac the perfect gift. I hope it's me. No, you can't have my toy. I need to give this to the general. Hey! Wow, what do you call deja vu in the future? Deja vu? Okay, he has a toy. We only know that we have to give Sal the perfect gift. We don't have any hint what it is. Hey, monkey boy! Monkeys have tails, dog man, and I'm busy. Back away from the vault door, Sam. Come on, Sal, can I have a little peek inside? Like all good Sam and Mac enthusiasts, I'm just dying to know what sort of cool stuff people are tithing this season. Sorry, Sam. No can do. The only people allowed in there are me and the Big Mac himself. And I only go in there when I'm putting a new gift in the vault. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So how do we get it so... I don't know if it's just a... You have to immediately go from A to B. Well, okay, let's go to Frankie and try to ruin him. Do 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 do. <laughs> this uh, uh, map is really annoying to to control. All right, let's max. You know, maybe it's just a 28.5% annual interest rate talking, but I'm feeling a mite peckish right now. A mite peckish? 
Have you been watching British TV again? I can't help it. The short seasons appeal to my limited attention span. Right in the La Bonza. <laughs> Franklin? Again? Don't tell him nothing, Frankie. Yeah. Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. Come on, guys. Grow some basil ganglia. Oh, okay, that didn't distract them. I'd like to make another bet. Hey, it's your loss, Squinky. I think it was th on the great ape leg sweep. All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? I'm liking that gorilla girly slap. Put me down for 20 on the space ape kidney punch. And I'll be taking all your dough with my bet on the simian scissor kick. But first, I better go get some cash. We take jewelry! So, rats, huh? Well, how's that working out for you? Shh, the fight's about to start. Looks like another blasphemous bowl man has entered the ring to face off against Salmon Max undefeated champion, Skunkape. Let's see how he does. Ow! Boom goes the dynamite! Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it, yes, it's the Space Ape Kidney Punch! And the crowd goes wild! Where was the scissor kick? Gotta love the way the general uses his hands. Too bad I didn't get the rest right. Ooh, more money for my Manny Petty. Ooh, that's brutal. Hmm. Okay, there was no opportunity really to to exchange the credit card. I'm not even sure if that's supposed to work. Right in the La Bonza. <laughs> Gotta love the way the general uses his hands. Too bad I didn't get the rest right. I should have known better than to go back to the gorilla moves. No, 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 you stupid space ape. You were supposed to use the sucker punch. Ooh, that's brutal. Okay. Skunkape is moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it... Oh, man. That was even more useless than usual. Okay. So... Come Franklin? on! Again? Don't tell him nothing, Frankie. Yeah! I'd like to make another bet. Hey, it's your loss, Squinky. So let's see. Hands. It was supposed to be in the sucker punch, so that's not it. Kidney punch. Or girly slap. Oh, but it wasn't the gorilla moves. So it has to be the space ape kidney punch. I'll put down 20 on the Space Ape Kidney Punch. All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? I'm liking that Gorilla Girly Slap. I see a Gorilla Girly Slap in the near future. And I'll sweeten the pot with 20 on the Simeon Sucker Punch. But first, I better go get some cash. Okay, I've got to ask. The Black Plague. Now, what was up with that? Shh, the fight's about to start. <laughs> Looks like another blasphemous bowl man has entered the ring to face off against Salmon Max undefeated champion Skunkape. Let's see how he does. Oh my! This one's almost over before it even had a chance to start. Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it yes? It's the Space Ape Kidney Punch! And the crowd goes wild! No, 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 you stupid space ape! You were supposed to use the sucker punch! Gotta love the way the general uses his hands. Too bad I didn't get the rest right. I should have known better than to go back to the gorilla moves. Hey, I won! Lucky dog. Yes, that's it. Luck. In no way aided by a brain with powers to see into the future. 
Don't push it, Max. They may be smarter than they look. Right in the Labanza. All right. Let's try that again, I guess, and see what the next one is. Oh, come on, Skunkape. Use your stinking hands. Ah, jeez. I thought for sure he'd use one of them simian moves this time. No freaking way. Oh, I was sure it'd be the leg sweep. Come on! Okay, not leg sweep. Not simian. And not hands. Franklin? Again? Don't tell him nothing, Frankie. Yeah. I'd like to make another bet. Hey, it's your loss, Squinky. So let's see. Not Simeon. Not Punch. So Thigh Squeeze. Leg Squeeze. Gorilla Thigh Squeeze, I think. I think he said it was supposed to be the Leg Sweep, right? do risk 20 smackers on the Gorilla Thigh Squeeze. All right, cousins of mine, Sam has made his bet. What are your picks? Hmm, let's see. How's about the Simeon Sucker Punch? The Simeon Scissor Kick is calling to me, Frankie. And just to keep things interesting, I'll put 20 down on the Great Ape Leg Sweep. But first, I better go get some cash. We take jewelry! Shh, the fight's about to start. Looks like another blasphemous bowl man has entered the ring to face off against Salmon Max undefeated champion Skunkape. Let's see how he does. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Skunkape's moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it Wowie Zowie, the Gorilla Thigh Squeeze? And the crowd goes wild! No freaking way! Oh, I was sure it'd be the leg sweep. Oh, come on, Skunkape. Use your stinking hands. Ah, jeez. I thought for sure he'd use one of them simian moves this time. You won again? Unbelievable! It's almost supernatural, even. We'll never get Frankie to bet anything interesting while he's got that credit card. Ooh, that's brutal. Okay, so how do we get rid of his credit card? Where is the ATM? Does anyone see an ATM anywhere? Come on! Hmm. Ooh, that's brutal. Radio Yurt. Nikki T's Radio Yurt. I love Nikki's ads. He dresses up like Genghis Khan and slashes high prices with a giant sword until the prices are all lying on the ground with their guts all hanging out. <sighs> oh, sorry, just kind of got lost in the moment there. Right in the Labanza. Okay, so we know now how to cheat on this. So let's see if a previous most favorite thing. Nondescript stars has been designated the big fan. Ooh! Paperweight! What is that? It's an electric fan, my lord. Uh, fan? Attention, everyone! This is Salmon Mac, the light of your lives and the breath in your lungs speaking. We just want you to know that, as of right now, electric fans are officially my most cherished things in the world, second only 
to our glorious selves. Carry on. Okay, let's see if that makes any difference. Oh, right, we need to get an imprint of the toaster. And of course, if it was a don't do anything else before, so you're the first to return stuff, then we've broken it this way, but okay. Ooh, that's brutal. Okay. Oh, or maybe we need to telephone over. Well, we'll try this and see if it works. Probably not. And then we'll just try teleporting over directly and see if that's fast enough. I've got a gift for Lord's. Oh, yeah? How about a toaster? Yeah, Lord Salmon Mac was into those. But now, not so much. Darn. Okay. Um, uh, on second thought. Hey. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Let's see. Frankie, cops, stinky cell. Okay. How come your Lord Salmon Mac hasn't fixed the city's broken down payphones? He's phasing in brand new communications technology. A vast network of vacuum tubes? Nope. Messenger slaves crawling through a vast network of vacuum tubes. Um. Sam and Mac rules. Lousy punks have no respect for spelling. So the payphone doesn't work so much about that. Okay, let's just try if we can do it. If we're fast enough. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's just click past all this dialogue this time because we've done it two times already go to the gift vault immediately and see if that's the trick Got a gift for Lord Sam. We'll see about toaster. About toaster. Ooh, nice. You think Sam and Mac will like it? Didn't you hear? Those wedge coat toasters are like his favorite thing in the whole wide world. Great. Yeah, people have been giving him toasters all day. Now the vault's okay. jam full of them. The last thing he needs is another dang toaster. Darn. Okay. That doesn't work. I don't think I have anything worthy of his plenipotency at the moment. I hear you. I got worthiness issues myself. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. OK. 
Okay. Um. Wait, is there still a payphone in the museum? I don't think so. Oh no, we have the gift vault now. Okay. So it worked. It's just broken so we don't try to make a call. That's a bit misleading for the game design. Okay. I was originally thinking maybe we needed to, you know, do the fast travel stuff. Um, and leave the car here so we can... Because we can always teleport to the car. Okay, let's go to the museum. Turn on the fudgy stick again. Okay, we don't really care. Now go back to the toaster. Woo! Okay. All right, rhinoplasty. Oh no, that was too early. Um. Luckily, that doesn't lead to a bad ending here. Okay, now teleport to the house. Hope that was fast enough. And now rhinoplasty. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. Oh yeah? I can't accept just any old toaster. A toaster. Ooh, nice. You think Salmon Mac will like it? Didn't you hear? Those wedge coat toasters are like his favorite thing in the whole wide world. Great. Yeah, people have been giving him toasters all day. No. It's jammed full of them. The last thing he needs is another dang toaster. Darn. Hmm. Uh, okay. Second thought. I don't think I have anything worthy of his plenipotency at the moment. I hear you. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Hmm. says beloved ruler like a ubiquitous surveillance network no nope, don't think so senseless vandalism has its place but this isn't it okay we can't trigger that So we're back at the car. Huh? Why is Max hey, just Sam. sitting? What is it, Max? I'm a little fuzzy about how our last case wrapped up. Well, after Skunk Ape kidnapped you, I went on an embarrassing noirish rampage through the streets, eventually tracking you down to the museum, where I, um, uh, uh Hail Salmon Mac! Ouch! Looks like Salmon Mac's rewrite of history has more gaps than a British subway system. <laughs> Mind the gap. Let's get a move on. Will do. 
Okay, I don't know why Max is not on our back anymore. There's nothing else that we can interact with. the wrong buttons here. Okay, I guess I didn't notice that he's now always sitting there. Okay, let's go back to the toaster and now just do it as fast as we can. Hi-ho, everybody! Just thought you should know that the best is... Alright, and now phone call back. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. We'll see about that. What you. How about a toaster? Ooh. You think Salmon Mac. Didn't you hear? Those wedge. Great. Yeah, people have been giving him to. Okay. Of jam Darn. Doesn't work. Oh, well. Uh, on second thought, I don't think I have anything worthy of his plenipotency at the moment. I hear you. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. So if we find any of the other... Oh. I'm an idiot. We, we got it. We got the clue. We have to first get them all destroyed. So let's make a rhinoplasty with a toaster. Okay, it's a bug. <laughs> Sure does love his corn dogs. All right, Egypt boy. You can steal my silky fur and my charming cartilage, but you'll never take away my snack time indulgences. In the name of the sweet, the salty, and the cheap yellow mustard, I hereby liberate these corn dogs. <gasps> oh. <gasps> uh, what is that? It's a wedge coat toaster, sir. A toaster, eh? Attention, everyone! This is Salmon Mac, Lord of all creation! Forget what we said before. From now on, toasters are officially the most horrid, beastly things in the whole wide world! And if you see a toaster and you want to make us happy, break it into tiny little bits! Wow, that means every toaster in the world is now utterly and irrevocably destroyed! But where does that leave toaster pastries? Room temperature, little buddy. Room temperature. <laughs> Good pop tart joke. <laughs> Toaster pastry, that's a term I'll have to remember. It's the unbranded. Okay, and now we switch it back on, and nobody will be able to give it. 
Uh, this is a lot of work. Hi ho, everybody! Just thought you should know that the bestest thing in the world are now toasters! Bye bye! All right, and now. Since all toasters have been destroyed and our toasters is not real. We're the only one with a toaster. Can you imagine a life without toasters? I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. Oh yeah? I can't accept just any old thing, you know. The omnipotent one is kind of picky. What you got? Ah, uh, now it's white again. Ha 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 ha, new conversation, good. Is that? Yes, yes it is. Oh, Lord Salmon Mac's gonna love this. Wedgeco toasters are his favorite things in the world. So I've heard. But they've been so scarce since the purging. Where'd you find this one? I, uh, made it. It's amazing what you can do with a glue gun, some pipe cleaners, and a little imagination. Amazing. Well, I'll just stash this bad boy in the vault. Sam, in gratitude for your truly one-of-a-kind offering, Lord Salmon Mac has ordered me to present you with one of his accessories of privilege. The medallion of superlative tithing. I don't know what to say. Gratitude would be appropriate, peon. Thank you, Salmon Mac. Hey, you're back, little brain buddy. Wait a sec. If you're here, what about... Don't overthink it, Sam. Well done, Max. Yikes! What? Just a little brain cramp. Preparations are being made. Gather more accessories of privilege so that Sam can get next to Salmon Mac. No problem. And don't forget to bring the brain screw. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh, what a nag. Who are you talking to, Max? And, um, uh, an imaginary friend. I call him Floyd J. Dalrymple. You and your wacky psychic powers. All right. We're awesome. It only took us 15 attempts. Okay. I think this is a bug, and this is Sam's default spawn location when he can walk. But since he can't, it's somehow just because, probably because we uh, rhino morph. What is it called? Rhinoplastied in here, and or fast traveled. Okay, so now how do we get the credit card? Hmm. Oh, um, I guess that will be a problem for next time. Um, because it's nine... So, uh, thank you for uh, watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Um, and uh, have a great week. Um, whatever you're doing, if you're working, if you're on vacation, I hope it'll go well. Um, and uh, see you next week. Uh, push the button. So that would be at the same time. Oh, and it actually caught the update. Yes. Um, I forgot, like, I'd already started the stream when the... Uh, when I realized I hadn't updated the current game thing. So, um, yeah, current game is Sam and Max The Devil's Playhouse. We have a bunch of upcoming games. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy uh, seeing those. Um, most important thing here, um, oh, uh, right, I forgot to say, 
Uh, last time I said I might be doing Quern as the next game, but I forgot that of course we still have Dishonored 1 to do and then the Dishonored 2 DLC. So that will likely be what we will be doing after this. Um, there is still apparently a little bit um, of uh, part 3 of Sam and Max left. This seems to be a longer episode than the others. Um, so we'll see that. And um, yeah, um, if you want to um, what was I about to say? Um, yeah, um, so uh, next week again, 5 p.m. Central European Summer Time or 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, we will see uh, how this episode continues and then hopefully move on to the next episode, to episode 4. And then uh, the week after or something, of course, we can do episode 5 and then we're, we'll have the finale of this great game. And then will likely be switching to Dishonored un unless something very, very special happens. So thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for coming around. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for lurking. And uh, see you again soon. Bye-bye.